What is up YouTube? Happy Valentine's Day. Hope everybody is out there doing well with their significant other. So if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, a, about a year ago or well over a year ago, I did a ring holder so that you could put, you know, my girlfriend at the time, her engagement ring on this little ring holder. So I got married. You'll be seeing this obviously on 14th of February. So that's Valentine's Day. And I need to make another one because this one obviously is falling apart. It's made of completely just wood. So what I did was went ahead, got some epoxy, put some red oak that I had left over in it. And what we're going to do in this particular project is make another ring holder out of epoxy, something more durable, something that can last a little bit longer that we can get wet and to basically replace the one that I made earlier. And I've been doing this for over two years now, and I feel comfortable enough to where we can definitely improve upon our design. It'll basically be the same thing, but we're doing it a little bit different this time with epoxy. So we're gonna turn wood into epoxy or epoxy into wood, and we're just gonna have a ring holder that's a little bit better. So ended up taking a piece of scrap pine, get the face plate on like we usually do, and you can see the workbench is a little bit messy. I was working real late uh, last night when I was doing this. This actually wasn't last night. I actually built this on Halloween night, and you'll be seeing this obviously in February. So got everything uh, screwed down to the face plate, but we are already came up with a few different problems you'll see here. When I screwed that on, the uh, glue epoxy that we attached it with kind of was falling off. So knew that that might be a problem a little bit later on. So ended up putting that onto the lathe and now we're just turning down the mortise. It's going to be large enough to where we can put a couple of rings in it. Not just only her wedding ring, but also uh, my wedding ring as well. Uh, and the... You know, red oak, it's a little bit harder wood. It's not as simple to turn as that pine, but we really didn't have any issues uh, making the mortise on this particular project. And this is actually uh, a little bit bigger, obviously, than the previous one, as you saw from the beginning of the video. And this purple color looks really amazing. It's going to turn out really translucent here in a little bit. So now we're just taking the shavings down and we're just trying to get that nice cylindrical shape like we usually do and basically getting everything nice and even so we can reverse it on the chuck and come back and not have to worry about it. So once I got some of the material off, then I came back and hit it with a round carbide tool. Didn't have any chipping or anything on this particular build. I'm using a Famo Wood Coat Clear clear coat glaze i wish that company would have came up with something a little bit easier for me to pronounce but it's not east coast resin it's not total boat this one is family wood which you can get at like home depot you can even get it at walmart in smaller batches so once we did that i used my hulk strength and was able to detach where we put that epoxy on there initially so that came off really well was really happy the way that ended up turning out. So now we got it reversed on the chuck and all we're doing is getting everything nice, even and smoothed out. You can see these cool ribbons that are coming off of the actual uh, epoxy blank itself. And by this time, we're just getting everything nice and smooth and even. And this part, I didn't know exactly how to approach shaving it down a little bit. I was gonna initially take my square carbide tool and just basically you know mold down the actual blank itself but i found that if i just took my regular gouge and hit it from the side angle it went a lot smoother and i didn't have as much chipping and you can see all those cool shavings that we're getting on the wall there so once we did that and i had it basically to the size that i wanted it to be now we're just starting the gouging process with the square carbide tool and this we didn't have a lot of issues but i did notice that I was getting a little bit of chipping on the uh, deeper cuts uh, when we started to gouge out the middle. And I just ended up taking the gouge itself and just coming back and getting a lot of the material taken down that way versus just using the square carbide tool all by itself. And by this point, I'm pretty happy with where it's at. I'm just taking it down, getting everything nice and sized up. And actually, uh, during a portion of the break, when I was building this, my girlfriend actually, or my wife came out and was like, well, you need to make it bigger because it's not gonna hold all the rings. And I'm like, it'll hold all the rings. It's much better than the previous one. So now we're just hitting it with the sanding that we usually do. We went from 340 and you'll see here in a little bit, we're gonna hit it with a micro mesh and it's gonna turn out absolutely gorgeous. That red oak really came out really well. And now we've polished it down 
to where we want it to be and for the most part not a whole lot of problems with this project it was very easy very simple uh, a little something different it's not a bowl it's not a mini fig uh, and it being valentine's day i thought it'd be appropriate to publish this one on valentine's day so uh, got that wood wax hit it with the polish and it's basically just pure epoxy at this point there's a little bit of wood obviously in it but i think it's going to turn out really well and be a lot more durable than our previous uh attempt at making it so once we did that here we are at the end and for some reason my video or my uh camera didn't want to focus i don't know i'm having a little bit of issues with the camera work so boom there we are uh basic concept just a nice normal ring holder again sorry for the shoddy camera work uh i did do this way late at night but overall, really happy with the project. I think it turned out really well, as you can see from the previous one that we built. This one, I think, will last a lot longer. And we're probably going to do another one in the future uh, once I, you know, this one you know, runs its course. But hopefully it'll last at least a year. The one that we're currently using has been present for over a year, and it's kind of fallen apart, but it works. So hope you guys enjoyed the project. Hope you guys got something out of it. Hope everybody's having a good Valentine's Day. And I will see you guys in the next project. Don't forget to subscribe, comment. Uh, yeah, comment on my shoddy camera work. But overall, really happy with it. And I hope you guys are out there staying safe. And I'll see you guys in the next project. Peace.